Hello, today's devotional can be found in 4th Nephi chapter 1 verse 32. And they did cast them into furnaces of fire, and they came forth receiving no harm. Alright. So, the furnaces of the fire can often represent the world or the throngs of Satan and often we are tossed into those throngs by people who would mean us great harm just because we are associated with the Lord and they wish to destroy us with the assumption that if they destroy children of God if they destroy those who are allied with God that they can destroy God well guess what People are people, and God is God. And one cannot destroy God by destroying those that are close to him. One cannot destroy God at all. God is indestructible. The wicked will be destroyed. For the wicked seek to do harm to the righteous for no reason at all other than the fact that they're affiliated with the Lord and I know it seems really unfair that people would want to destroy each other but that's how Satan how powerful Satan's influence is he can influence a perfectly good person through the evilness of his spirit he can influence a perfectly good person to do things that they would not normally do and do things that would not only damage their spirit and their reputation but their outlook on life and a perfectly good person can suddenly turn into someone who is evil and strives to destroy those who are different than himself and believe differently than he or she does and hence that often means influencing people to destroy those associated with God because he Satan thinks he can destroy God if he destroys the followers. But no. God will protect his followers even if it means yanking them off the earth. Even if they are cast into furnaces of the fiery temptations and pains and put through much torture by the wicked, the righteous will come forth either in mortality or in eternity receiving no harm for the Lord may just decide that the best way to preserve specific people from further wickedness is to take them off the earth and bring them home and give them the best blessings of eternity which means automatic celestial kingdom I mean why would people do this destroy each other people have their agency and when they are in a point that they are spiritually vulnerable their agency is vulnerable and Satan has a very powerful influence and if people aren't careful they can be influenced by Satan and he, if controlling people's agency can guide people to do very sad and very pathetic things. And that's why people destroy other people. They already are do not take their agency seriously and they allow themselves to be vulnerable to the influence of Satan and they fall prey to his plans and they end up doing things that quite possibly hurt other people just because they're associated with God and God preserves them Someday Satan and his followers will be destroyed. But all the righteous, noble souls.
could stand with God even to the point of their mortal destruction shall be preserved and come forth with no harm, but joy and peace in the safety of Heavenly Father's arms. So think very hard before you try to destroy someone merely because they are close to the Lord, for the Lord will hold you accountable. And they who are destroyed because of wickedness will be preserved. Wickedness will not prevail. They, will, they may be able to rob people of their mortal lives. But they themselves, through their actions, are robbing themselves of an eternal life. For wickedness will never lead to happiness. It will only lead to endless torment and fire and pain. Wickedness will never prevail and the righteous who are destroyed because of wickedness shall come forth preserved and unharmed. And with that said, I love you all so very much and I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.